the lead with Herman. Get rid of this armor piercing on the terror guys, and let's give it to uh the bar guys. some high ass ranking infantry. I really hope I don't lose any. I don't care too much about puppies or not even the cavalry. Definitely not the skeleton warriors, but man if I lose really any of these other guys I'll, I'll be very sad. Oh no, he's right there too. Oh, this isn't gonna go well for me no matter what happens. Now, I could do a 50-50 split, but I'm actually just going to charge right in. Sack the wolves immediately. Select this. Oh my god, really? That just quartered their health immediately? Oh, 
I don't understand what's happening right now, to be honest. Like, this is too much shit. Like, this is literally, this is the definition of too much shit. Skeletons. Storeroom. Where's my puppies? Get over there quick. Cut his legs off? I don't think it matters. He has people carrying him on a chair. He would still probably kill like millions of my people. And by my people, I mean the undead, but still. Nice, everyone survived, except for this elite cavalry that was depressing. I mean, come on, one skeleton survived, but these, these guys couldn't. Don't you think that's a little unfair? 
Hey, Kim Collector, thanks for the follow, dude. Uh, I'll take the money. Alright, land for it. You're gonna go back. I lost more than that. I lost the skeleton. Oh, okay, I lost the one skeleton thing. Okay. I'll, I'll replace that and my other cab. What a shame. Don't think so. Now if I get into another battle. Ready. There's no way I'm gonna lose shit, will I? Thank god. Holy cow, thank god. Gotta love grave diggers. Um Since I always hear them say Van Hills dance macabre, I'll uh I'll get it. Kind of makes sense now when he says it, you know? Alright. I already rated this, so next turn I'll do it again. Make them pay. This won't be the end either. I think after this, I'll start pushing into a better stone mine. And then, uh, Dragonhorn mines? Where's Dragonhorn? Is it down here somewhere? I think it's down here somewhere, but I'm gonna go for it. You know, we dealt with everything here. I'm gonna get. Oh no, there's these two armies, but I, I don't. I don't think they would threaten Grunstadt. I'm sending Heinrich down. I think it's time I actually uh try to get rid of their territory in the Badlands. Make some good money off it. No. Book of Grudges is bigger than the Bible right now, alright? Oh shit, the Empire is gonna get saucy soon. Look at this Empire scum. Gregor is gonna fight him. I think he's weak enough. Darkness comes. You know what? Maybe I can send Peter von Karstein first and to whittle him down even farther. Everything dies. Find me to kill the breeze. Oh 
Oh my god, I'm gonna auto resolve this and the Vargolf is gonna die. Ugh. Fine, I'll fight it. I mean, they literally implemented regen on this thing. Like, I feel like they should just let it be full health at all times if you win the fight. Like, no matter what. Out of principle, you know? Like, you know it's gonna be at full health. It's like such an easy thing to cheese. Why does he say soon my legion soon? Like, like the zombies give a shit. You think he's like kind of weird? like a loneliness kind of thing. Look at him waddle through. Amazing, it doesn't cost any magic. Ideally, I win this without losing any uh, good units. If it's just skeletons, it's okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so strong. All that great shall die. He's saying it soon because they're waiting on the Vargolf, but why do the zombies care? They don't have a brain. Or, or is this like a zombie lives matter thing? Is that what, is that what this is? I mean, this is such bullshit that I lose a Vargolf over a fight like this. I gained health from this fight. I'm just saying. I just thought I might put it out there, you know? I lost like two zombies and the game was like, yo, fuck man, this doesn't look good for you, so we're gonna take away all the health on your Vargolf. Alright, let's go and grab this. No, this isn't gonna be useful. I wanna get stuff that will be useful in the upcoming fights, so let's get the hunger and then I'm gonna go... Pop some spells. Because, why the fuck not, right? I'm glad the Border Princes really care about my well being. Oh, 
Okay, so they're gonna go on a big raiding spree over to Bitterstone Mine. Alright, let's go, let's do this. Peter von Karstein, you're gonna go first. Or you know what? I could double team this. I think they both have the range to chase him. Necropolis awaits. What? That's so far, dude. Bring it all to me. Follow me. That is some bullshit. Oh, 10 million iron breakers. Iron breakers, that's what they're called. Let's see how the auto resolve looks for this. Or should I fight it? It's up to you guys. Do you guys want me to fight this? I'll let you guys decide while I take a piss. I'll be right back. Fight it? Alright, we'll fight it. I vote retreat. <laughs> Unfortunately, there is no retreat allowed. Uh, I think the reinforcing army is my exhausted troops, so they will be my flankers. No, they will. No, they will not be. They're actually going to be my fodder units. Um, perfect, look at that. They start right with me. I think I could sack the puppies, but... Same, I, I kind of can't, because the way their formations are set up. Um, let's take a see what I can do. Look at this snow, it looks beautiful. And let's take... I love how if they were in a force march stance and they retreat, they get back full stamina as they're starting. That really needs to be addressed. If they're in force march, they should be fucking pissed they had to retreat on top of that. Like, they should be fucking bitching the general out. Just, just something I thought I'd brought up. Uh oh. That's not what I wanted. 
rude ass fucking artillery. Well, it's a shame this cab got fucking owned. That was a hell of a hit from that artillery. I don't care how badly these skeleton warriors get hit while they're setting up formation. Let them go ahead and do that. I'd rather attack with a good formation than rush in with a bad one, just to prevent artillery damage. Alright, let's go ahead and see if I can snipe some of these. These three are going to stand in reserve here. These three will be my flankers. I think it's safe to say I can charge these guys in.
This looks really fucking cool, by the way. Holy shit, this looks awesome. Oh no, I minimized the game. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, this looks crazy. Oh no. Oh, keep the current color scheme and don't show this me message again. Okay. Here we go, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, Paxer83, hey dude, can you please tell me how to scale Manfred? Sure, I can give you what I have. Um, although, I don't really play with an optimal build. Um, just saying. Just, just giving you a heads up. This looks really cool. I need to figure out how to get rid of the banners. Um, let me actually look up the graphics. Not graphics. Game settings. Controls. Oh, they they do have camera bookmarks. That's cute. Okay. Um. Toggle UI, K, and then all K. Oh. There we go. Oh my god, there we go. This looks crazy. Okay, now how do I get out of it? There we go. That's what I'm doing. So I gotta, I gotta like hold K down a bit, I guess, because of like. So cool. Yo, just another computer. Welcome back, dude. Nice to see you again. How was girlfriend time? It was good. It was good. That was a long time ago, though. Oh, you could do it with spacebar, too. Okay. Cake or pie? Probably cake. Oh, we lost the puppies. Give me money. The scent of death is strong. Bats and wolves gather. 
For Manfred, and I will show you what. Uh, you no, know, on a lady such as. I don't remember. I'm gonna say something else. Okay, so now these two armies are gonna go ahead and siege Carrot Cadron, finally. I could take Grand Peak too, but. I don't know, Carrot Cadron seems more appealing right now. Heinrich's gonna move south. Okay, uh. I grow impatient. Still the same campaign, Durgan. And that's why you fight, because auto resolve. That is true. I mean, because sometimes auto resolve kind of kills the game. Uh, but, anyways, let me take a look. Alright, so. This is just my own setup. It could not work for you. Um, there's some things I probably would have changed. Like, I would have changed Dark Pact. I probably would have swapped this out for Dark Pact. But this is a really good set to take in the beginning. Just because I use a lot of skeletons. Not anymore on Manfred's army. Which is why now I think Dark Pact would have been better. But in the early game... Uh, no matter who the general is, I always max this out, because I always get skeletons. Um, I put one point into each of these spells because I wanted to see what they did. So that was pure experimental. You can opt to kind of... I don't know. Like, you don't you don't need the purple son of Xerius. It doesn't do much. I'd rather have Fate of Buna um, and then these four because you have to get four, right? Um, it's up to you whether you want him to get spells. Um, if I generally like my main character to be a melee fighter out of sheer roleplay reasons, and so um, I get one point in here. I max out armor for survivability. He has very low armor as just a general hero, so it helps to get that extra 15. Um, and then your next stat point to fill up to get bloodlust, you just, I you don't know, it's up to you, whatever you want. I would avoid charge bonus. I, I don't really, like, charge a lot, so it's like, I, I like to just kind of let him deal with everything there. Um, maybe get Beguile instead. It doesn't really matter, unless you plan to, like, go all in on one of these sets later. Uh, make sure you get the Zombie Dragon, because that makes him a really good line breaker. Uh, continuing on, I get health because he doesn't have much health, and if I want him to be a melee hero, he needs it. Of all the leftover points, if you wanted to invest one more, get Supernatural Horror, because Terror is fucking amazing. Um, it'll make you route most Empire forces, like, instantly. Uh, the next stat you get, if you want to get this Bloodlust shit, it's just a spam click ability. I don't know if it's really worth it at this point. Like, I think about it and it's like, I, I don't know, I could probably go without it, but it's just one point. Yeah, the Barden Nightmare does have more armor. It actually gives a shit ton of armor, but um, I don't know, Zombie Dragon looks cooler, so I would go with the Zombie Dragon. Uh, the next stat you definitely want are these two. I would say, personally, I always get the Undying Horde. Replenishment is super important if you want to be able to sustain attacking. Um, whether or not you want to go for Lightning Strike to cheese big armies is up to you. If you want to min and max, get Lightning Strike. If you don't want to, don't get it. Uh, but, you know, it depends on how sh how difficult you find the campaign with um, whatever your strengths and weaknesses are as a gamer. Um, if you find the tactical battles to be a lot more difficult, then go with Lightning Strike because that'll help you kind of manage and contain the massive amount of shit you'll be fighting and that's about it so like if you want to get these spells i wouldn't i don't know personally i wouldn't get both you never have the chance to cast both unless you want to forego fate of buna and purple son of Zerius and shit 
But like I said, I wouldn't get Purple Sun Azurius. I just don't think it's worth it. When Fate of Buna is that good, and then you, you're you usually spamming Fate of Buna and like Life uh, Spirit Leech, and you don't really have time to be casting other spells. Uh, you also have the healing one too, right? So that's my current setup. I don't really bother with attack damage with this kind of dude. I don't think it's worth it. Um, I'd rather him just survive and toss units around and leave the killing to like my uh, elite infantry and shit like that. And so that's why I have this set up. So a few mistakes were made, but I mean, it's fun. It's a fun build. I get to test all these spells. Uh, this is always fun to cast because you get to see a giant black hole just kind of flying, flying around. Um, but yeah, not exactly the most uh, optimized build. I don't worry too much about cooldowns. Um, usually it doesn't really make a big difference. It would be like a difference of like three or four seconds. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, no, no problem, Paxer. Thanks for watching, buddy. Um... So we got Peter von Karstein. I mean, I kind of want to go for Grand Peak and leave this to uh, Manfred, but... I hate using my elite armies on a castle nowadays. So I think I'll send them both up there. Fuck it. I might as well get rid of this. This has been a thorn in my side for too long. So, dwarves are looking pretty weak, I'd say. Can only really ba balance the power bar. All that's left is to go raiding. Stand there like some startled sheep. Ah. Can you guys believe this shit? This dwarf is asking for peace. <sighs> I mean, I guess like my biggest advice for anyone playing this game and trying to pick out heroes and doing all that stuff is just think about what you'd have more fun with and just go with that. The game is very forgiving. Um, it's it's incredibly forgiving, and for a reason. I mean, trial and error. Uh, I feel like one thing they did really well is uh, kind of just allow for mistakes to happen, and one of the bigger things I like about this game. So, uh, yeah, don't be afraid to experiment. I don't know what difficulty you're playing on, but. Um, even on Legendary, i found a lot of leeway room. I can make a ton of mistakes and it just kind of makes the game even more fun. I don't know. It's certainly not like a... King Conduit. I don't really think I need any of this. I guess I could get Fate of Buna. Uh, Durgan, just go with Raise Dead. That's what I'm gonna be doing. I mean, go with a decent army at first so you could get your rating up, hit the hardest settlement, and then work from there. Yeah, like, bring a bunch of these. I'll show you what I mean. I mean, there should be some corpse places. Like, I have this one here. Um, the green skin fights with the dwarves should have some corpse sites. Just kind of take your time to scout it out. I mean, if you're really scared, send an agent to scout it out first so that you can see what's going on. But... You dare. I relish the opportunity. Destroy them. They will serve. March. No. We're gonna get two grave guard. Everything. It's a graveguard and the 
more graveyard. That's what I'll do. How many more turns? Two turns? No, 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 no. This night. The issue is, is I can't stay out of the Badlands because if I want to kill the doors, which is the long-term objective, I have to come down here. It's such cancer. Follow me. Now. This better be important. I'll probably drop these dire wolves. Let's actually merge them now and disband this. Making progress. Probably gonna get survivalist. Ready. Your wish, master. I'll take Sigma's throne. Suit up, master. Okay. All powerful. I don't know. Maybe I'll use all three armies to sack Karakadrin. I'm gonna sack it probably at least twice. I'm not gonna give him peace until I wipe out this section of the Badlands. Or ideally. If shit goes south quickly, then I'll pop the peace treaty. Looks like I'm almost done with all the tech. Does that wrap this up? I think so. Maybe the end of this turn. Durgan, still not sure how to build a good army. Would a fast cavalry one work? Um, I don't know what your definition of a good army is. Like, if you mean to just... Yeah, I'm not sure. What do you mean by that? Like a general one for the game? Like a... Depends on play styles. Uh, don't go too heavy on cavalry, otherwise you won't be able to take settlements. Go for a preparation. Oh no, there's a sabotage. Fuck. Oh, that's distance, right? <laughs> Bring it all to okay, let's try to assassinate these guys. No. Are you kidding me? Darkness comes. Follow me. Don't think so. Right, looks like Manfred can go south now. Um, generally the way I play is you just have one army. I play in a very suicidal manner, like I'll just keep sending armies until I whittle them down. And I'm okay with that, because Raise Dead lets you do it, but um... If it's early game, have like four zombies as like your line infantry. They soak up damage really well in the beginning. Um, and then skeletons as your flankers, so you get like four unit cards of zombies. And then like four, four or five skeleton um, swordsmen. I don't know what they're called here. Let me double check. Skeleton warriors. And then if you can squeeze in some puppies, get like one or two. Ideally, you get two. And that's like generally your beginning game army. If you have Manfred, you'll have the Vargolf, and you'll fuck shit up too. Uh, eventually, you want your stacks to look something like this. Uh, Cryptars are really good uh, flankers, or like line infantry support. Because they just toss shit around and they don't die as long as they're surrounded by allied units. You 
there. Darkness comes. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have this guy scout for this army, so better get him back up here. Turn. It's gonna be quite a few empty turns while I uh, get ready for the siege. Speak thy insults, stop. Uh, the dwarf ain't getting shit from me. Not after the shit he's pulled. Let's see if I can destroy those walls. I'm curious as to how these calculations are made. Thank you. Grab fleet footed. <sighs> okay, you're gonna start the stage, but let's bring like two zombies. Well, wow, number of breaches four. Kill them, raise them. No. Darkness comes. Then go. Yes, it will be a mass grave. Oh my God! I can attack it now. I think I'll wait for a siege tower. Drag them to our necrotic embrace. I'd rather have a couple. The breaches are good, but units it's like having multiple gatehouses and the gatehouses can go pretty buggy, so this better be important. Still worth keeping a couple around. Then go. Oh, this is this thing. You know, this this could be very useful if I actually recruited. <laughs> I don't think I don't. I think I've recruited maybe like ten units from like actual recruitment. <laughs> like, <laughs> raised dead is just so good. It's so fucking good. It's like my ADD insta click. Like I need it now. Drugs, fucking. Methamphetamine, crack cocaine, whatever you want to call it.
I know, right? Like, I can't wait to get that final buff in the, uh, support tree. Oh, it's a faction bonus, so Kemler doesn't get even extra. Destruction! There's no way I'm gonna break this army. Damn, what the fuck? How am I supposed to break this? That is fucking madness. I try to stay friends with the orcs that way and try to see if you can uh, help them beat the dwarves. Because, oh my god, fighting the dwarves is cancer. Like, you're gonna have to come here and, like, try to destroy this shit if you want the long campaign victory. It is night. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really don't want to fight them. I'm Big not gonna be able to trade evenly with this. I will not shame my clan. This army isn't built to handle this kind of shit. I think I reroute towards Valea's Sorrow. That's what I'll have to do there. Hey, Tony, then. Thanks for the follow, dude. Appreciate it, man. You dare. Darkness comes. Nice. to do. That's disgusting. I can't dent this. I have two choices. I, I can... I have to fight this army because otherwise it's gonna go to Grenstadt. But I think I can try to fight it by luring it to Vilea Sorrow. So that's that's what I'll try. Give it away from Grenstadt and the home. <laughs> 